how is it that all of these reputations, these very different people with very different attitudes, um, have sort of got wrapped up together? I mean, Magellan, for instance, I, might, I suspect that, I mean, of those who know him today, relatively few will know what a kind of villain he was, but uh, he gets wrapped up with Columbus. Everything in the Age of Explorers is sort of has, yes. has got merged somehow. Yes, the paradox is it's got nothing to do with the fact. Mm. Because actually the amazing thing is that Columbus, who, you know, he had lots of faults, he was, he was mendacious, he was ambitious. Magellan, it's very hard to say that about Magellan. And yet, you know, Columbus, the guys are tearing down his statues, they're besmirching his reputation, they're mm. smattering him with obloquy, they're treating him as if he were uh, some kind of proto-fascist. Mm. And yet Magellan, who really was a bad guy, has escaped all that. You know, his statues are intact. Yes. Nobody is saying, let's tear down his statues. Uh, nobody is saying, let's, uh, you know, revise his reputation. It's not as as me. Um, no one is saying, why don't we write the injustices you know, right. uh, um, that are accrued from, um, from Magellan's voyage. In fact, quite the contrary. You know, there are all these scientific prizes and university programs and, mm -hmm. and whole, you know, species and constellations so with, named with... after Magellan. And nobody is saying, let's, you know, take those, to change those, those names. So it's quite amazing that the relatively good guy gets all the brickbats mm. and the relatively bad guy gets all the praise. And, and I mm. think the reason... You know, it's very hard to explain that, but I think it's it's an it's an it's an example of how prejudice is inviolable by fact, <laughs> and that, that no matter you know what the truth is of a, an episode in the past, people decide what they think about it on the basis of their prejudices mm. and on the basis of you know what it does for their own programs and agendas and very it's very unfortunate that you know Columbus has become the victim of specifically um, American agendas to do with Native American identity and slavery things that he really had nothing to do with but which have become associated with him historically in the course of you know a long oh I don't know sort of unfolding historiographical story for between his day um, and ours whereas Magellan didn't make any contribution to the United States, never ever got anywhere near here, and is therefore pretty much ignored by public opinion in America.